This is the story of how I learned how to code within four months. How I learned how to code from completely zero, completely on my own in just four months. Once again, how I became a developer in three months. You can't learn software engineering in three months and this is why. I am sure you've seen videos like this before telling you how you can become a software engineer in three months and get a job at a fan company. But unfortunately, I have to tell you that this is basically impossible. All these tech YouTubers out there telling you that it sure is possible are mostly trying to promote some kind of bootcamp or course of their own or one they get paid by. So let me explain to you why exactly it's not possible and why you should take your time. Let's start with the misconception of learning. So in general, have you ever tried learning something new, like playing an instrument, and then joined the local orchestra after three months? If you did, well done. But for most of us mortals, it's probably not the case. And that's pretty much the exact same thing for every new skill you acquire. It just takes time to truly master something. Of course you will know something after three months of intense training, but you won't be nearly as good as someone with a couple years of experience. Why else do you think that most companies are asking for employees with at least three years of experience or something like that? It's just not possible to learn something on a professional level in this short time period. So it takes some time to learn any new skill, right? But software engineering? Not only is software engineering one of the hardest tech jobs in terms of knowledge you have to bring, but it's also one of the most complex jobs out there. If you have zero experience with programming and maybe know a little bit about computers, the hardest part will to be get used to the abstract concepts and complex systems you have to be able to use in order to even start programming. On top of that, software engineering isn't just about the individual skills. It's about how all these skills interconnect with the real world. You've got to understand databases, how to interact with APIs, and understand the the principles of good software design. It's like understanding not just how to write a sentence, but how to compose an entire story that's logical, engaging and efficient. And of course, teamwork is crucial. Software development is rarely a solo effort. You will need to work with other developers, designers, project managers and customers. Good communication skills are key here. Being able to articulate your ideas and understand others' perspectives is just as important as your technical abilities. So when you think about becoming a software engineer, it's not just about learning how to code. It's about embracing a multifaceted and continually evolving discipline that requires technical know-how, problem-solving skills, adaptability, and of course, great teamwork. One thing that has always annoyed me with these coding bootcamps is that they promise you to prepare you for the real developer world. But they're not. You can't just start to learn programming with enterprise-level programming challenges. It's just not how it works. It's if I would start flying commercial airplanes after playing three months of flight simulator and thinking I'm prepared enough. You just can't learn something entirely new by starting with the most advanced stuff. Projects in which you learn to code usually have nothing or very little to do with the reality. They are great to learn how to approach coding problems and build that critical and abstract thinking ability, but that's about it. In a professional setting, you will deal with legacy code that can be very complex and of course, very messy. You will work with systems that are a patchwork of different technologies and architectures, and some of them are probably very outdated. Companies will often use such ancient systems because they still work, and it would be very expensive to update or even renew them. There's also the aspect of ongoing maintenance in a real job. In a bootcamp, once you're done with a project, you just move on. In the real world, software needs to be maintained and updated regularly, in order to ensure its functionality. And all that just can't be taught in a bootcamp or school. This is knowledge that everybody who's working in the field will acquire automatically over the years. This learning curve here is a pretty good representation of my and my colleagues' experience over the last years. I have about six years of programming experience since I've started learning, but only about three and a half are in a professional working environment. The first two years are usually the most intense with the steepest learning curve, because there is literally so much stuff to learn and right at the beginning it can be very difficult to keep an overview of what you're even doing. It can be totally overwhelming and sometimes make you think that this stuff is too hard for you. At least, I felt like this sometimes. Please share your experiences in the comments about your first years of programming. In the third and fourth year, you know your basics. You still continue to learn a lot of new stuff, but at a slower pace as your skills are solidified. That's where most start to work in an entry-level position or do some internships. After the fourth year, you're pretty solid in your field. You can definitely work in professional working environments and probably specialize in some more specific areas. You keep learning new things but at a much slower rate and usually only if you need them for a new project. In year eight of your software engineering career, you'd probably count as a senior developer and there's almost no new stuff in your daily routine. Of course, there's always new stuff to learn because there's no point in the career of a software engineer where you've learned everything, but the curve really flattens here and onward. False expectations might be the biggest problem with these shortcut promises. A lot of people that do these programs will often have false expectations on what their skills will look like in the end. 
Many aspiring developers enter these programs, hoping to emerge as fully-fledged engineers ready to make 200k a year. However, the reality is often very different. The gap between what they're taught and what the industry demands can be very wide, leaving them unprepared or even unemployed. There's also a risk of burnout. Intensive boot camps that promise you quick results can be incredibly demanding, with long hours and a high volume of information to absorb in a short period. So if high levels of stress are a problem for you, your software career could be over before it even started. Also, boot camp promises can undermine the value of experience and mentorship. In software engineering, mentorship is invaluable. Learning from someone who is doing exactly what you're trying to learn is always the easiest way to become good at it. Taking your time has a lot of advantages. Firstly, it allows for deeper understanding and retention of concepts. It helps in developing a well-rounded skill set that can be used for your entire future life. Usually it also opens up more opportunities for practical real-world experience, like internships which not only will look great on your resume, but also give you a taste on how the industry really works. And lastly, by not rushing through your education, you can actually enjoy the journey and learn to like the learning process, which is a lifelong journey if you choose software engineering. I'm happy to hear your guys' opinions on this topic, so please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.